Hello ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? It is your host, the one and only one Henderson. Today guys, I am bringing you another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 live commentary over here onto my channel. But today guys, I'm trying something out that I never usually do in Call of Duty. I actually don't even know if I've ever done this in Call of Duty history. What I'm going to try to go ahead and attempt today is using stock on an SMG. Now, I believe it was SwagXBO who I saw do a live com with this the other day over on his channel. And I believe he threw stock on his Weevil and he just went absolutely off with it. Just a really, really entertaining gameplay. And the reason I think he did so well is because, as you guys know, without stock on an SMG, you can already move uh, really fast left to right when you're strafing and ADSing and stuff. But adding stock allows you to go just a little bit faster and it really catches a lot of the enemies off guard who you get into gunfights with. So I really hope you guys will enjoy this live commentary. If you guys do, please be sure to go ahead and smack a like on it, guys. That would honestly mean the world to me. If we could go ahead and shoot for 80 likes for this live gameplay, guys, that would honestly mean the world to me. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. And without further ado, let's get right into this. So I don't believe these guys are actually spawning back here. Looks like they're taking C as well. So we can go ahead here and hop on A. And as you guys can see here, I'm throwing out some of my favorite streaks that I love to use when going for really, really beast gameplays. So if you guys actually want to see the class setup that I'm using in this gameplay right now, I'll put it up on screen right now for you guys to go ahead and check out if you guys are curious. And you guys should definitely go ahead and try out this class setup because I've only been using it for a little while here, but it actually is already doing really, really well for me, which is pretty sweet. So make sure you guys go ahead and try it out if you're looking to sort of spice up your Call of Duty game here a little bit. I just popped my uh, combat focus there, right? Man, I should not have done that because these guys are all going to go ahead. Oh, shoot. I don't want to challenge that guy, man. I don't want to challenge that guy. I'm in a bad position right now, bro. I do not feel safe right now at all. Let's go ahead and let's get that guy. Yo, we just got our Wraith. All right, I'm going to take the time to call that in here real quick. We'll say my teammate's over here trying to distract this sniper, which it looks like he is a little bit, but I also I also really want to get this uh, this hater, man, which I'm a little bit scared if I'll be able to do, bro. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. No, no, man. I could not get the wraps, man. We were one kill off. I did end up getting in the hater, but we couldn't get the wraps. But that's pretty sweet. We're going 12 and 3 here using this class setup so far. So we got to make sure that we use this hater to get on our next set of streaks. Let's go ahead here and cap B. It's going to be crucial right here. This will get me a couple points. And then let's go ahead and let's push right side here because it looks like these guys are spawning. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, teammate, you just saved my booty Judy right there. Thank you very, very much. I would not have survived that right there if it wasn't for my teammate. If this guy's going to push up here. I don't know what you're trying to do, my homie. But you are not going to be getting up here, my dude. Oh, shoot. Yo, Wraith, get him. Wraith, get him. All right, let's push out of the way here. I don't know if this guy saw me. I don't think he did because he would have chased after me right there. My teammates were right there in that back area. Sweet. Let's go ahead. Let's get those guys. Oh, I'm putting so many bullets in him, man. I want to make sure they don't spawn in that left side right there because they usually do that. And that's really, really aggravating when they do. So we're really close to another set of streaks here. Let's go ahead and let's cap C. And I'm going to just take the couple seconds here to peek right here. Because I know some of these guys do like to push this area right after we cap that uh, C flag. Do we take the risk and go for the B cap, boys? Do we take the risk and go for the B cap? Oh, we took the risk, boys. And we got it. Yo, we just got a nice double kill as well. No, I just called in my wraps and we got three points left. Oh, uh, no, I hate when I choke stuff like that, man. Just stupid little brain farts like that. All right, so we're going 22 and 3. Not too shabby here. We've got our hater and we've got our wraith to go ahead and use in the next round. Hopefully, we'll be able to get another set of wraps. And we probably should be able to if we've got all these awesome streaks that we can actually go ahead and throw on here. But uh, hopefully, we'll be able to do just as well in the second half or even better as we did in the first half. All right, guys, I'm feeling pretty good here about doing well in this second half here. We've got our combat focus. We just popped a hater. I think we can actually go ahead here and do pretty decent in this uh, second half of this gameplay here. Look at that. No way. Of course, they called in a lightning strike right there and got me killed, man. Just as I said, I was going to start out doing really, really well. And I got two kills right there when I had my combat focus popped, man. Jeez, that is just some bad luck. All right, let's go ahead and let's get this guy. He spawned way out, man. Not really sure what happened to him. Poor guy. Let's go ahead. Let's get him. We got to go ahead here and cap this A flag. We got to go ahead and do that because if we don't, we're not going to be able to take advantage of these cap points. And they may actually end up switching the spawns back over here too if we don't cap that. So the good news is, is that not a lot of these guys are leaving, which is really, really nice. And uh, a lot of these guys are pretty low levels as well. Which is, as usual, is going to make this gameplay a little bit easier on my part. If anyone wants to try to push this area again, man, I'm all game. I'm... No! Of course that guy's just sitting behind that tank right there, man. Oh my gosh, I'm going to feel so bad if we don't get on our wraps. Because we choked it so bad there in the first half of this game. And if we do if we can't get on at this game, man, I'm going to be so disappointed. I'm going to be so pissed. Oh, let's go, boys. Let's go. Is there one more? There is one more, man. Yo. Okay, we that was massive, dude. If we had had our combat focus right there, 
Holy crap, we could have gone so off right there, man. All right, we just gotta make sure these guys do not push up here and try to go for this B cap. Doesn't look like they're gonna do, and they're not expecting me to go for a left flank right here, and we just got our combat focus. Okay, boys, you gotta take advantage of this right here. This is it, it's game time. They're going back here, they're capping this C flag. Can't let them do that, boys, can't let them do that. Still got a bit of time left here in our combat focus. Be steady right here, boys, get our next set of streaks, all right. Oh, no, I'm not letting this guy get me, man. Not letting him get me. Yo, let's go ahead right there, we're gonna cop, pop that. Not gonna let him kill me, man. There we go, boys. We caught the wraps. I wasn't gonna choke it again, man. That was just not gonna happen, bro. Boys, we're just ranking in the points now. And we still got a little less than halfway to go here in the second half of this game. The only thing that sucks right now, though, is that somehow the enemy managed to actually call in a wraith. Now, I'm not really sure how they managed to do that. But that that is really, really impressive, man. Like... How, as to how they got a wraith, I mean, I don't, I can't even wrap my head around that right now, man. That's just crazy. Let's go ahead. Let's get this guy. I got to get back into cover, man, because I'm pretty sure that wraith is still up. Oh, no. We're still losing C over here. Oh, my gosh. Are we still losing it? Oh, no, man. We got killed by the wraith. Oh, my gosh. Of course, it was still called in, man. That's just atrocious. Okay. But you know what? They have C and they have A, but there's no way we're going to, uh, they're going to make a comeback here and win this game. There's just absolutely no way. If we go ahead and drop the 60 bomb here, I think that'd be pretty sweet. Dude, that guy just absolutely melted me. Did he have stock on? He did have stock. Look at this, man. He's using stock on his VMP as well. That just goes to show, guys, you got to throw stock in your SMGs because it just absolutely dominates the other team, man. See, like, an example right there, too. You guys could see he was using the Annihilator, and I was able to use my stock to maneuver out of that situation situation right there that was just a really good move guys and see guys that's what i'm saying stock makes so much of a bigger difference in your smg class setups than i ever imagined like for the longest time i'm so upset that i'm just now like finding out about how awesome this is 59 and nine not too shabby at all right there bros we choked the 60 bomb which is all right though because we still did absolutely amazing please guys go ahead and try out this class setup because it is just so much fun to use we could have done so much better in this gameplay easily have gotten a 60 plus maybe even a 70 plus gameplay if we hadn't choked those wraps the first round i mean it wasn't like it was a situation where i like missed my shots or something like that like we literally just ran out of ammo i mean i guess you could technically say that the guy that was flying over b i missed my shots on him but whatever so uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy this gameplay if you guys did please smack a like on it like i said if we could hit 80 likes that would honestly mean the world to me guys so please guys right below the video player right now if you don't see 80 next to the like button be sure to go ahead and smack it guys that would honestly mean the world to me subscribe to my channel if you guys are new and if you guys watched up until this point in the video go ahead and comment down below hashtag stock that'll let me know that you guys watch this entire video be sure to check out the other videos on screen now that would honestly mean the world to me some other really awesome call of duty black ops 3 gameplays and i will see you guys in the next one until next time everybody keep gaming as always stay cool adios